welcome back to my channel. You're gonna have to excuse the appearance today, but lucky for you, you're not gonna see a lot of this. You're gonna see me in action, so. For today's video, I'm going to be tackling my first classroom project. So, National Business Furniture, if you watch me from before, sent me some really awesome furniture pieces. And I have this file cabinet right here, and if you can see, there's 30 drawers, and it's this kind of funky gray color. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the base of it white, and then I'm going to spray paint the drawers blue and green. So I've done something similar with my filing cabinet, so I know that I'm gonna have to sand everything, take all the drawers out, paint the base white, let it dry, paint another coat, and then I'll spray paint the drawers. So basically for this video, I'm just gonna put you guys down. I'm gonna get to work, and I'm gonna kinda talk when I need to. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, first things first, sorry for the HVAC in the background in the last clips, but um, I just used this touch-up paint for our house. It's white indoor exterior paint. I'm gonna use a roller and a brush in just a little bit. So I'm going to sand the whole thing with this awesome electric sander that my dad let me borrow. And then I'm gonna touch up anything with just sanding paper. So that's what I'm gonna do here. All right, so I lied. The first thing I'm gonna do is take out all of the drawers because I'm gonna deal with them separately. And then this way I can just deal with the base first. and start painting. I am first going on with a roller and then smoothing it out with a brush. This is just gonna be the first coat because I am gonna add a second one shortly. Drop it. Okay, so this is the first coat. It's definitely gonna need two or three coats. So I just quickly went over it all in white. Um, as you can see, if you get like close, there's definitely brush strokes, but that will resolve itself on the second or third coat. That was so easy. So while that dries, I'm gonna sit here and watch the World Cup and sand, lightly sand these um, drawers because I'm just gonna spray paint these and hopefully that works. We'll see. All right, so that's what I started with. This is the spray paint that I have. I just got it at Ace Hardware, so I have blue and I have green and here we go. I'm even sweatier than before I started. So I actually ended up doing most of this without filming it because the lighting's just been crazy and I couldn't capture most of it on camera. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through everything I did. So I painted the second coat of the kind of body and it looks beautiful. There's a couple of things I would have done differently. Like I forgot to dust off the dust. So there's like some chunks in it, but honestly it's going in a classroom. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I think the white just is so much prettier. The gray was fine, don't get me wrong, but you guys know my blue and green obsession, so I just thought the white would make it pop. So yeah, just two coats of paint. This part is finished, and then oh, I spray painted all of these bad boys. So, as you can see, I didn't paint the middle, and I also didn't paint the backs of them, I just painted the front and the sides. So there's 15 of each color, and I didn't even go through a whole can of spray paint. So I bought two of each and I only ended up using one of each. So that's kind of neat if you're thinking about doing something similar. This was probably the most annoying part, to be honest. I would highly recommend wearing a glove because, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so that is finally finished and it says it's fast drying. So I'm just gonna let this hang out for a little bit um, for it all to be dry. And then I'm going to put it all together. All 
All right, guys. Ah, look how amazing that looks. Holy cow, I am obsessed with it. Look at that. It looks so good. I will say there's like some imperfections, um, but that's just user error and me being like impatient. So what I do plan on doing with this is obviously I'm going to be labeling these. So this will be covered with a label. So anything that's like drippy or whatever is going to be covered. But oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed. So when I initially ordered this unit from National Business Furniture, I was already obsessed with it and I had this in mind. I knew what I was going to do with it. It's like storage heaven. So I will make sure and have everything down below, the link to where you can find this. National Business Furniture is giving all of you guys 10% off, so I will have a code down there for you guys. Um, I am so excited to figure out how to use this bad boy in sixth grade. I truly cannot wait. I am obsessed with the way it turned out. Yeah. And it was really easy. I think the whole project from start to finish maybe took an hour and a half, maybe. So oh, I'm sweaty and messy, but I'm really proud of myself. All right, guys, so that wraps up project number one for my classroom for next school year. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about what I did, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll do my best to get them answered. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future projects in my classroom setup for this year. And other than that, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.